Oh, authors! Hi, it's Mrs. Hofer, and today we're going to start another page for our Seasons storybook that we're going to write this week. So yesterday we wrote about the season of fall, and we uh, saw, talked about some of the things you might see in the fall, and I promised you that I would show you my finished picture um, today. So here is mine, if you remember. It said, we see pumpkins in the fall. And I had to draw at least two pumpkins because my sentence says pumpkins and not just pumpkin. If I just said the pumpkin, I could only draw one, but I said pumpkins, so I have two pumpkins on there. So there's my page and my illustration to match my text, okay? So now, today, what season comes after fall? It's starting to get colder, isn't it? And it's starting to stay darker longer. Do you know what season we're getting ready to go to? That's right, it's gonna be the season of winter. And so this is Word Birds Winter Words. Word Bird made a word house. I will put winter words in my house, he said. He put these words, he put in these words, snow, snowsuit, cap, scarf, mittens, snow boots, snowflakes, snowball, Snowman, snow shovel, sled, skis, ice skates, icicles, log fire, jingle bells, cookies, wreath, Christmas tree, stockings, Reindeer, Santa Claus, gifts, surprises. Can you read all of Snow uh, Word Bird's winter words? He had a lot of them, didn't he? And now I'm going to think about the winter word or the thing that I think about um, when I think about winter. And I know that it gets colder. And so I think about... Um, snow and one of my favorite things to do when I was a little kid was to build a snowman with my brothers and sisters. Um, so I'm going to write, I'm going to use the same pattern that we did yesterday. Um, I'm going to use our word we. Do you remember our sight word we? W E we. We see snow. Should I say snowmen? If I say snowmen, I have to draw at least two snowmen, right? Or could I say, we see the snowman in winter or in the winter, okay? I think I'm just going to do one snowman because usually when we did the snowman, we didn't make more than one. We would just make one snowman. So my first word is the word we. Again, we have to remember that if it's the first word of a sentence, what does it need to look like? the first letter of the first word. Yep, show me with your hands. Yep, that's your capital letter. We need a capital letter. So the word we starts with W, so I need a capital W and a lowercase e. So it says we, and then I have to put what in between my words, right? I have to put a space. I like to do hand movements, so I do like that for space. We see. Now, C is also a sight word, so we're going to make sure it's spelled correctly. S-E-E. -E. C. We see. Remember, I put my finger down. If you have something at home, you can lay there, like an eraser or something, crayon. We see, and I'm going to put the snowman. So, the word the is also a sight word, so I'm going to make sure it's spelled correctly. The we see the, and now I have the word snowman. So snowman is a word that I'm gonna stretch, okay? Because that word 
we're gonna stretch it and just write the sounds that we hear unless we know where that word is somewhere and we can find it. But we don't wanna ask somebody to spell it for us because then somebody's not always gonna be around. So we wanna stretch out those words and try to sound them out on our own, okay? So we're gonna write snowman. So s, oh, I, yep, I hear that sound. That's the letter S. So I have a space and then I have the S. So now we're gonna stretch a little farther. Did you hear the s? Right, N, N, N. Oh, oh, watch my lips when I say that. Oh, and if I don't know what letter, guess what? If your lips make an O, usually there's an O that you need for that letter. Okay, we see the snow man. Oh, I saw my lips. They went together like when I make the mmm sound. Yeah, that's the letter M. Snowman. Yeah. yeah, the letter A. And then at the very end of that sound, snowman. That's right, it's N. We had that one earlier. We see the snowman in winter. So I'm going to write in. Does anyone know how to spell that word? Yeah. I'm going to put an N because I know we hear that. There was another letter. Maybe you know. We see the snowman in winter. Winter. Whoops. So I got to have a space. And then I'm going to do the word winter. Winter starts with what letter? We haven't done this letter yet. It's, it's kind of a hard one. It makes the w sound. And when we say the letter, we don't really hear that. But it's the letter W, like the word we. We and winter both start with a w sound. So w in, and I hear another in. This is one I'm going to stretch. Win, t, t. Yep, do you hear the T? Er. All right. And then my sentence is over. So tell me, what do I need? We see the snowman in winter. Er. Right. I need a period. Okay. And so now I'm going to take time to draw a snowman to my, so my illustration matches my sentence or my text, okay? And like I did yesterday, I'm gonna wait and show you my illustration tomorrow, okay? All right, I'll see you tomorrow.